I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny. Depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused. Even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's got to stop him. And that's where you come in.
So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathos, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And a missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Nev Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dread Wolf. I'm not leaving until I know where she is. Be ready to talk by the time I get to you. <laughs> Darling, you're adorable. <laughs> Enough gold in the world for this. Varric, now! Meet Bianca. She'd like you to stay a while. Nev Gallus. Dumat Plaza. The Venatory cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. Thanks. Your friend, Ned Gallus, is at Dumat Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. What did I have to worry about? You were there watching my back. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Archon's palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Spare a coin, please. Andros, they bless you. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... Oh, crap. We're too late. 
ritual started. But if we hurry, we can still stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Harding's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza, and that will get us to Solus. Watch out! Is Solus summoning demons on purpose? My guess is the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks. And the whole world is going to look a lot like this! <laughs> Come on! This way! It should get us to Harding! You're safe now. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Bought some demons, and the Archon's Palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? Venatori got to her first. We grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up. We've got company. Demon. Here they come. <laughs> Let's get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. You two all right? Patch yourselves up if you need it. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That world existed before the veil, and he wants to bring it back. Even if his ritual kills us all in the process. Palace. It floats over the city with a big cannon pointed down at its own people.
our fallen brethren! <laughs> Friendly bunch of cultists, aren't they? They crossed the Grey Waters a few years back, but a lot of our people killed them. Yep, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Guess we're sliding down. They're allies of Ned Gallant! Not the worst timing. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. They thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori in this city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like a chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. We came prepared for a rescue. Looks like you were way ahead of us. A rescue? You're sweet. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. All citizens in the canal district must remain in their homes. So if we do catch Solus, or the Dread Wolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the van. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight up fight, they're dead. We can slide down the line and get- I'm getting too old for this. There. That's the building I tracked Solus to. 
Looks like the Venatori also found it. And then demons found them. Enchantment on the entrance. I can get it. So this is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them, at least. I'm not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Ancient elves doing something to a trap. More demons. Look around. Air is full of magic. Solus used a lot of power for something. Solus, the Dread Wolf, Ben Harrell. He's got a lot of names. I always called him Chuckles. Nice work. Let's see what's on the other side. This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook? It's called an Alluvian. They're elven and very old. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He must have gone through it. Well, we're not in Manrathus anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. Bad back in Minrathus. The fade's a mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. Ooh. 
Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it. this demon quickly. Let's get to Solus. Positive. 
You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option, to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Take care of the team for me. Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Let's buy him some time. I hope Beric is getting through to Solus. We better talk fast. We can't hold these demons off forever. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. People are always dying. It is what they do. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Ned. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck. down the veil, knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling. We need to push it. Right. Together. Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall.
You have no idea what you have done. Soulless. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. How am I supposed to trust anything you're saying? You saw them escape from my prison. I also saw you bringing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... ...quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. Your ritual let the gods loose. You don't get to sit back and look smug. What else could I possibly do? I do not have my ritual dagger. I do not have the network of mirrors that took me from the lighthouse across the world. I 
have nothing as the gods threaten this world again. All because you disrupted my ritual. You mean when I stopped you from covering the world with demons? You will soon see what I was trying to prevent. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. This is your responsibility now. Well... <clears throat> Look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay. But I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it'd take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. What happened? I did my best to talk sense into Solus, but of course, he wasn't listening. He never does. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Harding got everyone out. By the skin of her teeth, mostly. Before you start worrying, Nev will be fine. She's apparently a lot tougher than both of us put together. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like that time you ditched your orders for a better strategy during a Darkspawn attack. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade, because that's what we needed. The dream world. Then I really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid.
you're awake. And we're... In the Fade. This is where people come when they dream, but dwarves don't dream. And somehow I'm here. Yeah, it's unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should, but maybe look around a little. We might be here a while. Wisps. Figures are in the fate, but I swear they're following me. You are right. Strange place you've fallen into, but I'll work with it. You know me. Uh, do I? I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. I made a call that got you injured right after we met. I'll be fine. You trusted me for the job, and I delivered. That's what counts. If we're stuck in this, let's hope you can trust me again. All right, but I still wish we had a smoother start. So much for first impressions. Here's hoping I'm better on the second. Well, you're not bad so far. You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know, or knew, before Solus changed the game. And it's... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. We'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, we just... well... well, we have to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the job. Second, one more to go.
Okay. That did something. wasn't supposed to go this way. What do we do now? What do we do? Arding? Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? Did you ever find places like this chasing Solus with Varric? Not exactly, but with Solus, it was always about the Fade, or the Vale, or some other in-between place. Varric always hated it, though. At least this place feels different. Maybe... safer? Harding, are you... doing all right? I don't know. Are you? Is anyone? Anyway, doesn't matter how I'm doing. What are we gonna do about this mess? We were going to go back through the Alluvian, right? Let's start with that. As soon as we can. You know you can take some time to just... Now you sound like Varric. Varric and I started this. And I can't stop. Not now. Don't ask me to. So... Come get me when you're ready to go, all right? So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Sorry. It was while I was unconscious. Solus appeared in my dream. Really? I'm glad you're all right. From what I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. Even kill them. He said our connection wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. We all know he's not a god, but it's faster than saying ancient elven mage every time we talk about him. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solus can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solus had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganarn and Gilanane. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against.
They're our next target. So we set our sights on a pair of elven gods. Like it's easy. Who else is gonna do it? If they're loose, they need killing. They were evil tyrants who enslaved their people. We need to stop them. Solas says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the Blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one... God running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. We're down a man without Varric. We can't just rush in. I know you're hurt, Nev. But the rest of us need to do something. I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate, then figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elganarn and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we don't have time to waste. We need to act now. We don't know what they can do or what they want. We don't even know if Solus is telling the truth. I'm not saying we go in blind. This time, if we see a shot, we take it. All right. The last place we saw them was the ritual site. The Alluvian took us here from the ritual site, instead of back to Minrathis. Then let's hope it takes us back. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right, then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. <clears throat> if it even takes us back to Arlefin. Now, have you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lise Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solas. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. 
I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We found Solus, and stopped his ritual. But things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade, into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something... or someone else got out. Elganon and Gilanane. Supposedly. Methalanast. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Something that would need a source of tremendous magical energy. Like two of our old gods. Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard. But compared to the Avenuris, let's just say they weren't known for being kind rulers. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evaniris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Ah! Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Luter. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> we'll find Valara. Nev, I need you to stay with Strife and Erelin, all right? I'm fine. You're the best detective in Minrathus. You can help the Veil Jumpers here. If trouble shows up, they could use your skills. Fair enough. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Bellara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. Is it me? Or is there something strange about this fog? It all feels a little off. Like everything shifted a little bit. Laura Luter. Strife and Irulin sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. The elven gods Elganan and Gilanane have escaped from Fen Harel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh! Yes, that is very much for the worse. 
Okay, wait. I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Strife and Irulan said you're their best Veil Jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe... A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it, safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well then, let's get going. Someone made camp all the way out here? We've got camps all over Arlathan. The Veil Jumpers do, I mean. Never really know when or where the magic's gonna start going wild. to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble. But these magical constructs keep getting in the way. We've handled our share of demons. A few dozen more shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Threats like us, I'm guessing. That water just swirling into the air. We call that kind the whirlpool. The anomaly, I mean. Never seen one this size, though. <laughs>
kill. With them. So what is this artifact we're looking for, exactly? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. see elven ruins that haven't been picked over. Not many people come this far into Arlathan. Just fail jumpers, mostly. And people trying to save the world, apparently. been a temple, could have been where they stored food, but judging by the sentinels, it's probably something important. Wow. I've never seen anything like this. Wait, is this? No! It can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. It almost feels like an armory, or something like that. What's an armory doing this far out? Warlords. Ancient elves had a lot of them. Are we just supposed to jump across? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go. Easy. Huh, that's a great trick. A resonance amplifier. It's drawing matter from the Ring Temple to this area. We need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready.
the last of the magic energy. Path should be clear ahead. So, that ritual, the big one where the sky was ripping apart, you say that was Fen Harrell? I mean, the real Fen Harrell? That's what I've been told. But right now, he goes by Solus. And, sorry, the things that got out, the big scary ones, that was Gilnane and Elgernon? Are you okay? You sound a little flustered. Oh, you know, just finding out that three of my gods are out there trying to end the world. Why wouldn't I be okay? <laughs> Watch out. Whenever you see one, there's more nearby. I wonder how they died. Even mages... ...have trouble with the artifacts here. They expect them to work like, you know, normal magic, but they're different. The magic's more alive somehow. of ruins never gets old. Can anything here tell us what that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. means I was right. Right about what? About where we are. It's an armory. And I think I know what the artifact is.
That's a win. So what kind of artifact shows up in an armory? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Ancient elves used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. Mythalinast. Dark spawn. would have believed it until today. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. We've got your back. I've never seen Dark Spawn this deep into Arlington Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. If the gods are blighted, like Solus claims, maybe they're communicating with the Dark Spawn somehow. Directing them? You saw those Dark Spawn, though? Something was different about them. And we'll stop them. Once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. Dark 
Mark spawn right where you broke that wall. And another resonance amplifier. Should be the last one, I hope. Me too. Barrier sound. We're close. I can feel it. Have you noticed something about the blight? Where it is, I mean? It's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. Is what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, <gasps> Nodis Dirthali. It means the inevitability of knowledge. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> the notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. Structure. The inner sanctum. We're getting closer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one. be another one of those power crystals around here somewhere. Another ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. left is the Nautis Drithalin. I have so many questions for it. How do you ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. Fallen. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back. Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right. Because darkspawn, demons, and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic is pulsing, I've never seen this before. It's almost like it's breathing.
Wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. What does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nagas Dirthara. Right, um, I have questions. I am the Nagas Dirthara. What do you. So that's the Nardis Dithalan. It was, or is, I mean. Crystal's broken, though. Needs fixing. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Strife in Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp.
ready to go? Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. Eleven wounded, sixteen on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Jahel and Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn, too. Near the Nadis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nadis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods. Figure out their next move. If it weren't broken, maybe. But we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know. But maybe... If we find them, we find the gods. Or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demeta's Crossing. What? Irlin and Strife, when we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demeta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. Four, I'm coming with you. Nev, you were still shaky, and... I'm coming, Harding. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demeter's Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there. And good luck. To get there. Let's head to the dock. We aren't prepared. Let me <laughs> 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 